Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this rainbow watercolor cake with a dripping effect. So I've got a 10 inch cake board and I'm applying just a little bit of buttercream to stick my eight inch cake on top. And I'm using a spatula to spread my buttercream onto that layer. So I'm spreading it out to the sides and just flattening it out. I'm adding on some frozen berries. And the reason why I'm using frozen berries here is because I'm going to be pushing the berries into the frosting. If you were to use fresh berries and as you push, you'll obviously squish them and make a huge mess. So I just used the um, frozen variety. I've got blueberries here and a couple of raspberries too. And they're really easy to just kind of crush into their individual seeds. So it's another bonus of it being frozen. Then add on your second layer of cake. And I'm alternating between a white chocolate mud cake and a dark chocolate mud cake. And continue the process. Here I've added my buttercream a little bit thicker and that way the um, berries kind of push into the frosting a lot better and your cake will touch the frosting. That way it sticks. And continue this process as you keep building your cake. Press them in. Apply your last layer of cake and I've turned that one there upside down so the bottom is facing upwards. And then clear off all that excess buttercream sticking out the sides. I'm going to apply my crumb coat as well. That'll make sure that no crumbs make it into our final layer of frosting. That way it's all nice and clean. Apply some to the top as well. And then give your cake a bit of a clean up around the edges and bring that extra lip of frosting to the center of the cake. I'm going to pop that into the freezer for 10 minutes just to set up. In the meantime, I'll make my white chocolate ganache. So I've got some white chocolate buttons and chocolate chips here. Adding in my cream. Now normally you'd add one third of the weight in cream to your chocolate. So if you had 300 grams of chocolate, you'll add 100 grams of cream. Here I'm adding extra cream because I'll be adding in the um, uh, gel food color. So I've microwaved that for 30 seconds until it was all melted through. Adding in a drop of some Regal Purple Americolor gel food color and just stirring that through. The reason also why you're adding a bit more cream is so that the drip effect is much more fluid as well. So I've separated some buttercream into five different cups and I've added red, orange, yellow, green and blue or turquoise here in blue. Just stir that through. Now that our cake's ready, I'm adding on our final layer of frosting. So I've got a nice heavy dollop over the top, flattening that out and pushing it out to the sides. And then adding a nice, healthy, thick layer of frosting to the side of our cake. And we'll be removing most of this as well, so don't be afraid to be generous with this. And I add some extra buttercream to the bottom, that seems to be my problem area. And then go in with the colours. So I've got some red that I'm starting off at the very bottom. And as I add the next colour, I'm sort of moving up the cake, so it goes from red at the bottom to blue at the top. And if you want your cake to be less colorful, if you want more of a kind of white background with a couple of those um, colored uh, lines going through, then you wouldn't add as much. You'd add maybe one to two spots of each color. Then I'm taking my bench scraper and just scraping off all the excess. And you can notice here, as I scrape maybe a quarter or a third of the cake, I'll take off the excess and I'll put it into a separate bowl. So I'm always cleaning my bench scraper as I go around. And don't throw that out, you'll need that for the decorations up top later on. With your spatula, bring that lip to the center of your cake, just to clear it up. Then I noticed I had a couple of empty spots, I just went in with my white buttercream, filled those in, and then just smoothed it off with my bench scraper. And this is also a good way to add a bit more white if you thought maybe there was too much color. And clear up the top again and pop that into the freezer for five to 10 minutes. Otherwise, if you add it into the freezer for any longer, your ganache will set up solid pretty quickly. So you could even just put it in the fridge instead to set up. And then pour your ganache over the top and use your spatula to sort of ease it to the sides. And in areas you want it to go up and over the side and start dripping. So I'm kind of pushing that ganache out. Then when I'm satisfied with how flat it is, I'll go in with some extra ganache I've put into a piping bag. And you'll want to work quickly adding in these artificial drips. That way they'll have time to uh, blend in with the rest of the ganache and you can't tell that they were added in afterwards. And there you go. There's your drip. So now it's time to decorate. I've got 
some meringue here that I've crushed up and I've got a tutorial on how to make meringue so I'll leave that link in the description box below. And with that extra piping that we had before, that extra um, buttercream for the colors, put into a piping bag fitted with a 6B tip. I'm just making small to large sort of dollops in a half moon crescent sort of formation. Then I've also taken a second tip, which is a smaller version. And this is a 32 tip by Wilton and making smaller white dollops here, always following that half moon slash crescent formation. Some white sprinkles over the top just to add some interest. And lucky last, some gold dreggies or edible pearls. And you're done. Happy New Year guys, welcome to 2016. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Hope you guys had a great time with your family, friends, celebrating the arrival of 2016. This will be the very first cake for the year. And this is a rainbow watercolor cake with a purple dripping effect. I think it looks really effective. Um, those sort of decorations on top with the whole half moon slash crescent thing is really in at the moment. I think it looks great like that, kind of that sort of decoration. But you could do anything with it. You want to pop flowers on top, mini macarons, sort of really play with it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.